hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how you can use remotion pro with human gene character remotion pro is blender add-ons comes with over 450 plus animation library for auto rig verify and major movies and also additional 2000 plus mockups avs file you can retarget to your character so if you're using version 1.5 of remotion pro and you search for remote simple you can see we have install extra files here when you click on it it will take you to here and navigate to where you download the extra file this is the extra file it and i will navigate to the folder and this is the extra bookup okay so i'm going to double click on it and it's going to extra this one so we can use it for our character good once it has finished install that one if you go to retarget and you go to import fbs you can see we have this folder here called mizamo when you open it you will get this over 2000 plus mockup fbs file you can retarget your character i will show you how to use it later okay so let me close this and let me show how you can use this add-on with human gene character here i have it tab here and i'm going to load a random character from here okay so let's say i'm going to load this character so just click generate so make sure you follow the step by step guide okay now here you can go and modify the body shape like you can go to the body and modify the muscular So let me go and give the character cloth. So I'll go to the cloth here and I'm going to attach maybe this one. Okay, this one. And here I'll go to the foot and I'm going to give it the foot. So once you are done, select your character body and go to vertex here. And now you can see we have this shape keys here. Once we have finished uh, modify our character mesh, just go to the vertex data and go to the shape keys and click on this and apply all the shape keys okay after i done let's hide this let's select the cloth and apply its shape key let's do the same for the pants apply and also for so after this let's unhide everything and let's select our character and let's go to expressions so when you go to expression you can see the cutter don't have any shape key but when you go to the expression and go to face rate click on add facial rate after we click on it we can see we got this arcade blend shapes here we can use your iphone or it has connected to the rig that you can use to control the face okay so once you get this let's go back here and let's go to post and this go to post library and make sure you choose t post after you choose that, let's go to Rigify and click on Generate Rig. Now we are done. Okay, we are done generating our character. So here we can go here and get our hair back. So the next thing I'm going to do is now let's we are finished generating our character. Now let's go to the Remotion Pro tab here, and now we need to make sure our character is in t pose but we can see this character rest pose is what is a pose so how we can convert this one into t pose is using the remotion pool first let's go to the settings and here let's choose this one to pick our character rig and let's choose this is a rigify character okay so go to rigify and next yet make sure we switch to fk so click switch fk and it's going to switch our character rig to fk after this click import t post rig and then click automate and click apply now our character is going to set into t post rig like this after this if you click if you're using human gene if you click on this it will going to apply this as your rest put but for a human gene character it will cause error and also if you use this one it also costs a lot for but for any other rig you can click on apply response and it's going to do it automatically for you but if for human gene character make sure you follow the what i'm going to do okay so here we can see the the foot is not aligned right on the ground so let's select the rig and let's go post mode here and i'm going to align this one so i'll use this okay reset this one and i'm going to make sure it's aligned on the ground like this 
so now we get our character in t pose so next thing i'm going to do is let's go back to object mode and select our character cloth go to modify and here we have amateur you can see it from here click on this and save as shape key after that let's hide the cloth select the body and let's go here you can see this is the amateur modifier that has uh, the rig click on this and click save as shape key let's hide that one okay and let's go to the teeth this is for the pants and let's hide it and last for the shoe and let's hide it after that let or hide everything okay so this is just the rectify the so after that let's select your character rig go to post mode press a select all the bones press ctrl plus a and click apply rest pose now this is become our rest pose for our character okay so after this let's go back to object mode and you go to object mode just select your character body and let's go to vertex and here let's go down on the shape key and here we can see this is the shape key we save make the value one okay and let's hide it select the cloth let's set the value to one let's hide it do the same for this one and let's hide that one okay so now let's unhide everything now we are done making our character into t pose so here now when you go to rest pose our character is still going to be in t pose like this okay you can just switch your character into ik or fk or you can snap it using this okay and all of them is going to work but now the one that is working is fk okay so you can see it from here let me hide all the hair okay so it's around first all right, so here we can see our blend shape is stored there and we can move our cutter eye okay is this and you can see the cutter eyeball is moving and we can open the mouth using the this one okay so and we see the mouth is what's open so all the parts is going to be what okay so now the hands is working now let's go to the real motion and let's go to the animation and here we can choose rectify and then pick our rig and here let's search for maybe walk and go here and choose walking and let me load the animation and now we have this here i don't know why this scene is running slow okay so let me switch to this here i can go to this side and i'm going to hide other layers like the ik bones uh, this track ik and this one okay so so now we have only this guys okay so get this and now we can see the character is working we can continue to load so many animation to it as you want let's go here and choose pick uh load working again and you can click on record and now the character is going to continue to work from where it end here my frame drop my frame drop because i don't know why this scene is running slow like that so now we can use this one as so many animation i can go here and load maybe run uh, i can load running go here record and the character is going to do the run okay so here you can see uh this part is clipping through the cloth to face that one we can select our character body go to shape key let's add new shape key set the value to one go to scoped and here we can use the x and then we can push that side inside so that it won't visible okay and then let's go back here and now that part will not be visible okay you can also check your animation by selecting the bone and you can just um select this one and we can rotate it like this to make the hands 
okay like this one and this cup close it like this and that's how the cutter is going to work okay so let me reset all this one I'm going to reset all my motions and here i'm going to show you how you can use the motion we just imported so here go to file import and mizamo and here we have over 2000 animation plus here so we can load it from here so let's say i want to load a uh, superhuman choke let me load this one and check the animation okay i'm going to pick this one as my source rig and i'm going to pick this as my target rig and click build bone list since this one is mesomo rig and this auto rig click load preset and load the mesomo to rectify okay and then select this and load, set it as hip bone and click buy and constraint and now you can see the character is doing the exact animation okay so now you can retarget this animation to your rig so now you have additional 2000 plus animation okay you can load it to your character if you see the character leg is not on the ground you can select the rig and bring it down a little bit like this okay or if you see the character is floating while working you can scale the actual bone okay you can scale the source source amateur bone and also you can select your rig and go to post mode and if you see one of the hands or the bone is penetrating the cloth or any other you can use this uh spacing to space out the hands okay like this one or you can make this and bring it down a little okay and that's how it's going to be so once you're happy with the results you can go here and click bake okay and it's going to bake the animation into the ring now it has finished baking and we have, we can delete the the source rig amateur and still our animation is going to play because we have baked it to our character okay so let's check this so what i'm going to do next is i can save this as my custom animation and later on i can load it to any regify character so to do so go to custom library and here let's go to dope sheet and go to actions and this is the name of the action this currency character is using is called action so let's go here and choose the add action you can rename it so you can see it better and you can see it has changed here now let's name it you can see the name of this is superhuman choke we can use the same name okay to save that action so i'm going to call choke and i'll go here and i'll go view and render image so i'll name this one and go here and i'm going to choose this render image as the image okay so i'll search for one and use this one as image to export this okay so after this uh let's click on export and it will ask us to save the scene first so i'm going to save it so after you save your scene just go and click export again and now it's going to export this action oh you see selector rig does not contain this make sure the rig type is okay you see this character is rectified so make sure you choose rectify from here okay and click on export so here yeah, i change the blender version to blender 4.2 that is the one that can able to export the action okay if you are using render uh, version that is lower than version 4.2 it can't export it to where that's why it's causing it freezing so here i have changed it to blender 4.2 okay so any version 4.2 s can export the action where okay so here i have opened blender 4.2 and i'm going to do quick uh, viewport render and i'm going to use that image and then export it so here i'll go to view render image and then i'll use that image okay so once after i get this uh, i'm going to click on export and let's read 
and now you can see for blender 4.3 it just takes some few seconds to export now it has finished exporting so the next thing i'm going to do is uh you can see in blender this version it also runs fast okay what i'll do is let's go here and i'm going to click on reset okay so reset now when you go to your animation and you go to category and you go to rigify you can see we have that action there called choke rigify see the action we save choke you can see it here and it ends with the rigify rig so here we can load this animation to any rigify character and you can see it is working here okay so you see that animation yeah we can take any rigify character and load it to it so here i have this rigify character i'm going to pick this one and i'm going to load this animation and you can see they will do the exact animation okay so you can load this animation to any rigify character okay and you can see it is working fine okay so this is how it works so guys this is the end